the theme song playing. Never a good sign of it, I've already defeated the boss. That's not long neck though. Plus long neck. I guess I never really defeated the chefs in the nightmare. That was cool though. Audio clues. I don't know which door to choose.
this is fucking cool dude the sound the sound people did so good on this fucking level alone i love it
open the triangle. Over. Left or right? Um, right. Big Daddy Television is gone. By the way, I'm eating breakfast, so this is the mukbang little nightmares edition, man. Oh no, this is another one. Very famous. Oh, dear, pretty fun. I have a.
Nani By the way, what are these things? That's what I want to know. Jump, man. Jump! Sam! My phone just committed suicide. Fuck off! I knew it. I freaking knew it, man. I freaking knew it. Bitch! Motherfucker! So left or right guys? I, I think I'm going right. just said what the fuck <sighs> I can't believe I was betrayed by the person I came to rescue jeez man does friendship not mean anything anymore these days oh shit I'm growing old Become daddy television?
Yeah! Oh, shit! That's why he was chasing me. And the door closes. Whoa. No, because there always needs to be a daddy television. Ah, I didn't think of it like that though. Okay, well, let's really talk about this one because um, from my perspective for the first one, I, I think they were going more of the uh, traditional vibes with the uh, Japanese aesthetic, you know, a lot of meaning towards that. Uh, it was uh, all about gluttony and a lot about eating and that kind of thing like it was very um, uh, I think it was very during the times of like happy times where like you know food was cheap and all of that stuff right and then people would go for cruises and all that thing so you have a hostess who is kind of like the like the geisha per se and bringing the people on board because you know it's it's kind of a marketing tool for them to come on board and eat the food and they never want to leave so that's kind of the allegory there but for uh, little nightmares 2 i feel like is much more in depth just because we start up with this um, character 26 and we move on and the whole underlying theme is you know still like kids against adults and you know that kind of thing right whereby you know kids are afraid of like these type of weird adults who kind of just come into their lives and kind of disturb them in, in, in a subconscious way. That's why they have these kind of nightmares. And I, I do feel like the name of the nightmares has the significance because this is what stems from their subconscious, right? So when you talk about daddy television, uh, of course, the, the underlying theme for Little Nightmares 2 is... Oh, okay. Additional art by uh, Bandai Namco Studios Malaysia Sundir and Bahai. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, the underlying theme is um, television, right? And I, I was saying, okay, this time period is probably around 1929 uh, during the times where, you know, television was a big hit. Uh, you know, with adults especially, and you know, they they kind of, like kids would have seen adults kind of like stare around the television, maybe bringing their friends, you know, coming and watching television, and you know, you you'd have these uh, kids TV shows that kind of brainwash uh, the kids as well, and I'm I'm personally thinking that Daddy Television isn't a, a corporation per se but it is the aspect of what a kid thinks becoming 
uh, uh, an adult is because you know you, you see a lot of you see a lot of uh, the adults gathering under, around the television and sitting in front of the television growing old in quote unquote uh, per se and then uh, going off to work but the work that they go to uh, like maybe uh, most of them got jobs in the television industry whereby they're either um, anchors they're news people uh, maybe they're, they're ho- co-hosts um, maybe they're, they're on a game show game show host uh, and that kind of thing right like that that is a real possibility for for the kids that are involved in this my perspective on the china doll kids uh, is that they are children who are in school and um, you know 26's nightmare uh, is that you know if, if you know she goes to th- or if it goes to school uh, you know sh- it can be bullied and these kind of things you know it's, it's a very a social anxiety kind of thing and then the teacher is just kind of that weird teacher who has like probably a long neck and like is really graspy with her voice and that kind of thing that's how i feel about it but uh the part about the um the doll prison is one which i kind of don't want to really talk about but it's one oh toby bird uh but it's one that is important for the storyline as well where maybe um the the doll you know we we move from early television um history towards uh you know television being used in schools well the television was not prevalent throughout the game I, I talk as if it's prevalent throughout the game and it's not we, s- we literally start off in the woods so maybe um, you know this kid is a uh, you know a suburb kid where you know they, they lived in the woods with their kind of a strange grandfather kind of thing and then you move forward into the school you know she, she prob- uh, it probably had to go to school and then you move forward into the age of television um, and then you go towards uh, and I'm I, and I say 1929 specifically because uh, we're, we're moving into World War one right and in World War one there were a lot of you know uh, wounded soldiers and a lot a lot of that thing and uh, uh, that was where the prosthetic legs and the prosthetic limbs were born, right? So that's kind of my take per se. Don't don't take my words as like law, final say kind of thing. But that's just what I'm thinking about. And then you move into the final stage where uh, maybe you know 26 is kind of liking because like. 26 has the power right to like teleport through the television uh, and teleporting through the television in my honest opinion it's more of uh, the 26 is probably gaining some inspiration from the television media throughout that timeline and maybe he's, he's becoming more close to the television and two is not Two is kind of staying away from the television until uh, Daddy, Daddy Television comes to grab her through the television. So it's kind of an interesting kind of storyline where uh, Two essentially becomes a monster because I don't think Two really likes the television. Uh, so you know, she, she becomes a more version of uh, herself and then. Uh, you know, two kind of two kind of escapes be- just because she wants to get out of there, and then I think because she kind of senses twenty six is more into the television world and into 
the you know lifestyle of these this kind of things she decides to abandon 26 in the television world so but man that was the that was the freaking worst though that was the fucking worst man i didn't expect i didn't expect you to um to betray us like that just because i mean i kind of understand because like she felt like we abandoned her because she got she got taken away by daddy daddy television but we kind of had no choice like he was coming for us so i don't know i really don't know but I'm trying my best to kind of figure out the best way to describe my feelings just because I know this game is a great game I, I, I know it is but just the level of hardness I think is, is very crazy to me especially since there was a lot of glitch glitches uh, in my gameplay where I, I cut out a lot of it because I didn't want uh, you guys to, to kind of see it and like be like what the fuck is happening right so it's kind of that push and pull thing that I kind of think about whenever I do these kind of things and <coughs> personally I do enjoy the game but I don't think the steam ratings are you know equal because i saw i saw the ratings for a little nightmares 2 it's like 9.5 9, 9 out of 10 i would i would agree with 8 out of 10 honestly because little nightmares 1 was just a whole immersive experience for me personal personally so i would rate Little Nightmares 1 over Little Nightmares 2 personally because I don't really like co-ops as I've said in the past before but the way they did the co-ops in this game kind of made it a little bit more fun in a way I, I won't lie about that but I don't know I kind of have to play through again I guess and I did all this just because I thought that I would catch the wave of all the hype but apparently there's so much of this out there so I don't think you can even watch my stuff like it's it's buried underneath all these type of contents that are honestly better than mine obviously uh, but if you you know if you manage to hop on to this in some way or like i shared it to you or you know you you shared it to another friend i really appreciate it honestly i do um and thank you guys again so much for watching really i'm just like giving these guys a really hats off here just because the first one i didn't really watch through the little nightmares one and for the storyline of Little Nightmares 2, I have to rate it higher than Little Nightmares 1. But that doesn't mean the gameplay. Okay, I'm gonna separate it out to two things, right? The gameplay and the storyline. For me, the gameplay of uh, Little Nightmares 1 was a little bit better in terms of just the baddies and all that. Uh, Little Nightmares 2 had more baddies, of course. We had more variety but i'm just saying in terms of how compact it was i think for little nightmares one uh the gameplay was a little bit sharper in my opinion uh but for storyline and for the whole um complete experience and i guess that kind of i just that kind of accentuates your, your gaming experience so 
overall maybe I give it an 8.75 I don't I can't give it a 9 just because there were so many glitches in the game that I played through so I don't know I, I honestly can't give it a 9 um, Little Nightmares 1 I give a 9 because that maybe you know it was better patched better launch that kind of thing um, but overall would I choose Little Nightmares 1 over Little Nightmares 2 no because there are more things in Little Nightmares 2 than Little Nightmares 1 obviously because Little Nightmares 2 is a sequel um, but just for me in terms of the rating I can't reach the nightmares one. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think for me, I have that kind of bar for little nightmares one. That the glitch, the glitches in this game, kind of pulled down the ranking for me. Maybe if I played this in March or something like that and got like few patches, I would have honestly given this a little bit of a higher rating, kind of. But it's hard to say because <sighs> Little Nightmares 1 was an experience because I didn't know about the game. I, I was introduced to the game by YouTubers, by my friend, and I'm just kind of dealing with the aftermath of the game and that's how you know a game is good. game is good when you ask like is there gonna be another one of these and I know they said they're gonna focus on a new IP and that just means a new game so maybe you have to look out for whatever they bring us because this is this is certainly an interesting series so to say and I, I've noticed a lot of media is coming out with all these stories about how television affected us as kids. Just because, like, ever since, like, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared fr uh, from YouTube and the, the like, the, the documentaries on, on you know, television world and st stuff like that. Like, not really. That's, that's not really the title, but you know what I'm saying, like, the television generation. And I, I'm, I'm a television generation, honestly. I didn't have this, like, I didn't have a s PC setup. I did have an old-ass um, PC, that's for sure. I did have a uh, big-ass television uh, for the PC monitor and I did have that but I don't know what happened there by the way um, I did have internet but internet was not very prominent until 2010 for me maybe it's my country I don't know about other countries but yeah Okay, I guess on the editing. I'm sorry. Um, thank you guys for watching, being with me on this journey. I know I was very angry with the game at certain parts, but that just means I, I love the game. So <sighs> it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to the nightmares, but. You know what they say, if you love something, then you let it breathe. So, that's all for me today guys. Um, probably gonna cut to this part, so uh, if you guys are still watching, um, 
please remember to hit the subscribe button hit the like button uh, I don't know how often I will be posting um, it's just a feeling whenever I want to post I'll post so this is just me now like I, I'm not going to grind for YouTube anymore I used to but those days are over um, I do YouTube when I have the time uh, and when I have I feel like I have content for it so if I don't have content I won't post anything so you know what I'm saying um, anyway um, yeah I can't read it a 9 I'm sorry it's an 8.75 Thank you guys again. I know I keep saying thank you, but it is what it is, right? Okay, bye.